when we've dealt with situations like this before, just point us out the culprit. It was the onion! <laughs> Gigi, we can see that this guy has form and is quite a traveller. Yes, Ella, we have reports of him all around the world. This guy has a shocking record and is always leaving his victims in tears. Let's see why this happens. And how we can stop it. Let's look at the evidence. The onion starts in the soil. It comes from a family of genus groups called Allium. It absorbs sulfur from the soil, making a volatile and organic molecule called amino acid sulfoxide. Before an onion is cut, the enzymes are kept separate. But when an onion is cut, the contents are released and are now free to mix. The enzyme alanase breaks down amino acid sulfoxides into a sulfenic acid called propenysulfenic acid. A second enzyme called LFS or lacrimatory factor synthase breaks down and interacts with the propenysulfenic acid and produces synpropanthyl S oxide. At room temperature this evaporates and forms a gas which wafts towards our eyes. Once the gas reaches our eyes, it stimulates the neurons to create the familiar burning feeling. The brain sends a message to the eyes to wash the irritant away with tears. Just imagine this balloon represents the onion cell and all of its contents inside. When someone cuts it with a knife, all of its contents goes into the air. The gas wafts towards your eyes like this. The lacrimal glands produce tears to wash away the irritant. Oh, I can really feel it. So now we know how you did it, Onion. Your crying days are over. Let's make sure Onion never does it again. But how? We can put the Onion in a fridge. At a lower temperature, less of the irritant will be released. By putting Onion in boiling water, it will inactivate the enzymes. Cutting the onion under running water will stop the gas from escaping. Colin Eady is a New Zealand scientist who is working on genetically modified tearless onions. But these are a long way from the shelves. But until then, the only safe way is to wear... Goggles! It's no longer the crying game. That's right, Gigi. It's the frying game. Another case solved by Cry Stoppers. Thank you.